Hey y'all, today I have a poblano pepper sitting here and I'm gonna show you guys how to prep it. Poblanos are in the category of spicy or hot peppers and because of that, I use my handy dandy gloves. Poblanos are not as spicy as other peppers so if you wanted to, you could probably do them without gloves if you wanna take that risk. I personally have been burned, literally, one too many times by any kind of hot pepper to take that risk. So I take my poblano and I'm going to cut it, cut the top off, that's pretty typical, how we begin. And then you can see it has all this membrane and these seeds on the inside. I wanna get rid of those. Now, you might wanna just stuff this poblano and in that case, you can really pretty much just reach in and pull out. And you see how all the seeds and things are together? Just throw that away and most of the membrane is actually gone. I can reach in and take a little bit more out, but really, honestly, that's about it. So now I've got this little opening. I could stuff that poblano pepper if I wanted to with some ground meat or whatever I feel like. Otherwise, probably gonna slice it in half. And then again, I could stuff each half like that and put it in a pan, roast like that, or cut it into more like pieces. So I've got these halves, cut that, big pieces. I could take one of those sides and slice it on the middle, make smaller pieces. Or if I wanna go even smaller dice still, I'm gonna cut it first lengthwise like this, as much as, as small pieces as I can manage, and then bundle them up together and dice it. Now, if you really want super small pieces of flavano pepper, or really small dice of flavano pepper, you can then rebundle all of that together, take your knife, and do this. Flavano's getting everywhere. Then you're gonna get even smaller pieces of flavano still. But for the most part, you're probably gonna use diced flavano or stuffed flavano. Okay, that's it for flavano. 